No, 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 God, please don't, don't touch the face. Mr. Shop, right? I have a package for you. Why are you running? Sir, here. Weird. We have the Rode Wireless 2 Go. Very similar to the Rode Wireless, not one, but Rode Wireless that I'm using right now. The difference is that there comes with, uh, is it transmitter? Two transmitters, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it comes with two transmitters with one receiver, has some built-in uh, recording functionality and it has a USB-C, which can get connected to some devices. So yeah, let's open it up and see what, uh, what it looks like. I should have brought my knife. All right, so here we go. These are so hard to find when you lose them. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. So that is a transmitter. The other transmitter and the receiver. Hmm. They look almost the exact same size as the old one. Alright, so this um, windscreen is supposed to be improved, so it should actually snap into place, I guess. Not like that. I'm assuming... Oh, there we go, look at that. You can actually... Oh, that's much better. I like that much better. I lost uh, mine several times. It's very helpful. It's actually nice. I think the key is, is it worth the upgrade? So we've had interference issues or something going on with mine cutting out. So let's see. <clears throat> All right, so we have Three windscreens that came in here, so you can lose one of them. The road, the original came with two, so you could lose one. This one has three with two two transmitters. All right, USB-C wire, charging wire, useful. Three USB-C charging wires. 
stereo wire and a big pouch for all of that stuff. So one of the key, key benefits of this is it has internal recording now. Uh, we'll have to play with it and see how well it works, but basically if the transmission is interrupted or cuts out, there's internal memory and you have to use the road software to download the recorded audio. And I guess it just goes in a loop. So if you don't download, it just keeps writing over what you previously recorded. Um, I think that's gonna be a, a nice, nice feature. The first thing we're gonna do is upgrade the firmware from what we have, um, what we've read online is that uh, the original firmware had some bugs in it and they improved significantly the internal recording with the newest firmware. With this, you also get to choose how, um, how the output audio is. So you can choose either it mixes the audio together or each of the transmitter has one channel. So like transmitter one will be in the right channel, transmitter two will be the left channel, which will be very nice. So if one person's mic is hotter than the other one, you can, uh, you can level it out in post. You can level it out when you're editing. You just knock down the one mic or bump up the other one. That'll be very useful if Alex is talking because he's very loud. <laughs> so what we're hoping to get out of this, we had two major issues with uh, the Rode Wireless Go. And uh, first thing is, is that it seemed to be when we were too close together using two of the mics, um, that there seemed to be some kind of cutting or interference going on. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why, because it's on a digital frequency and that shouldn't happen. But the other issue that we had was bleeding between the, the two microphones. We'll see if that's been addressed here. Um, that one I'm not sure about, but we'll see. I just noticed uh, it feels a little bit cheaply made. <laughs> feels a little flimsy. Huh, the bottom right corner for some reason seems flimsy on both of them, but in all these are the Rode Wireless Go ones or the originals were very solid, nice devices. The batteries lasted a long time, so I have high expectations and the cost is actually reasonable. Uh, it's cheaper, I think it, at this point, it's still cheaper to get the dual instead of getting two single wireless goes. So we are we are now using the wireless two go. Uh, we're testing our number one complaint, which was bleeding. So we had noise bleeding between the channels. So okay. enter frame, Brian. So all right. All right. So so here. How, how, two meters, two and a half meters? Yeah, two meters, I guess, yeah. Yeah, social distancing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the question is, can you hear me on your mic? And I don't know. <laughs> can okay. you, I hear you on my mic? Yeah, yeah. This is one meter, I guess. Okay. Yeah. And we're recording uh, mine on one channel, yours on yeah. the other. Yeah, So. right. In post, we can separate them completely. Mm -hmm. exactly. So that's good. So I'm talking normal volume. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah. What if I, we talk louder? I'm sure we'll get more bleeding. Yeah. Bleeding and clip clipping? Clipping? I yeah. don't think. So. We'll see. Depends <laughs> on how loud. If I'm yeah. like yelling at my kids, you know, sit down. <laughs> yeah. Then it'll clip. I hope it's fine because the other one is like horrible. It caught. It bleeds. Man. Yeah, <laughs> that's terrible. Although I don't, I don't know what was wrong with the last one. We were using it how we weren't supposed to. I don't know. I I have no idea. Hmm. But remember when we flew the drone? Mm -hmm. It like killed right, right, reception right. completely. Mm, yeah, exactly. So what I don't understand is the cutting. I wonder if there was a problem. It was always my channel. Maybe. Maybe I sweated into it and then like, <laughs> it was soaking wet. Or... All right, well, thank you for watching. We're going to create a more detailed review. We'll do some distance tests and uh, maybe even take the drone out, see if there's interference like there was with the last one. But 
Thank you for watching and subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Perfect. What are you doing?